What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to shoot Instax Square Film in an SX70. Before I do get into it, I do want to say it's a tedious process. Um, it's something that will only, it's a technique that will only allow you to shoot one frame at a time. Uh, and then you have to sort of keep reloading. So it's similar to shooting, let's say, like an 8x10 or um, 4x5 sheet film. Uh, but with that being said, let's get straight into it. So starting with the things you'll need. You'll need a dark changing bag, which is used for developing film. If you do not have a dark changing bag, you can um, either use a dark room, uh, like a dark bathroom, dark closet, um, something like that. But dark changing bags are relatively cheap. You can probably get them online for like 20 bucks. I got mine for around 25 bucks. The second thing you'll need is an empty cartridge of uh, Polaroid, either 600 film or SX70 film. The third thing you'll need is an Instax Square camera. Uh, I have an Instax SQ6, uh, which I think works best. You obviously need Instax Square film. And then most importantly, you need a Polaroid SX70, preferably a working one. Uh, so from here, I'll kind of run you through what you have to do to uh, load some film into this and get it processed. So essentially what you have to do is you have to have a empty cartridge of either 600 or SX70 film. You have to cut a slit here going down. What this does is it prevents the SX70 from ejecting anything when a picture is taken. So when a picture is taken there's a pick arm in the back that's supposed to push the film out. When you cut this it's not pushing anything out. It's doing the action to push something out but nothing is being pushed out. So from here, you take this just the way it is into a changing bag. Into the changing bag or dark room, you would have this, you would have an SX70 and an Instax Square camera with film. So you take your Instax Square film and you have to prop it in here like so. And you squeeze gently so it catches on top and then you squeeze gently so it catches on the bottom. And you're doing this completely in the dark. So what you have to do is sort of feel and make sure it's right. What I usually like to do is put my fingertips on the sides to make sure there's enough negative space and it's centered correctly. I also like to put my fingers down here and make sure it's not flapping up. So this is basically what you have. From here, you do not open your dark room or dark bag. What you proceed to do is you get your SX70, open your SX70 in the dark bag, load the film in, as you can see it did not eject anything. Once your film is loaded inside um, you got to make sure your Instax Square film is back inside the Instax Square. Once nothing is being exposed to light because everything is secured in either inside of a camera or something, you uh, open your, S your bag, you take out your cameras, and then from here your shot is in here. You have one shot. Uh, so what you do from there is you can go out, you can take a shot, or if you have a shoot inside, um, you know, you you shoot inside, you go, you take your shot. Once you take, once you finish taking your shot, you go back home, or if you want to carry a dark bag with you, you will put the cameras inside, and then here's what you do. You go inside the changing bag, open your SX-70, remove the film, you take out your Instax square cartridge from your Instax camera, Take out your negative Instax here that hasn't been exposed. And what you're going to do is you're going to load this back into the camera. Into the, well, you're going to load this back into the cartridge. That is the Instax square cartridge. It's an original cartridge. And then you're going to put that back into the Instax square camera. And once it's an Instax square camera, you uh, basically shoot it out and... Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's how you get your picture. 
as I said before, it's a very tedious process, but uh, it's fun to do. Um, it's great to do because um, insect square film is a lot cheaper. Um, it's also a little bit more reliable than Polaroid Originals film uh, because their chemistry right now is a little bit weird. There seems to be some issues with streaking uh, and other stuff going on with it. So uh, that's pretty much how you shoot insect square film inside of a Polaroid SX70. This process also works with other Polaroid cameras. Uh, you could also use it for Polaroid LAN cameras. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.